Chandu here. Um, today I want to speak about the if else uh, statement uh, on Python. So those are what we usually called um, conditional statement or um, you can also call them decision making statement. Okay, so I'm gonna open my PyCharm. While PyCharm is loading, I uh, just want to open some few nodes and um, give you the background of if else statement. So let's deal with the background of an if else statement. Okay. So when we are speaking of an if else statement, we are speaking of a deep. Uh, um, decision-making um, logic statement. So what happens is that we will use logical operators, things like um, um, your equal sign, things like your um, not equals, this is not equals, things like your less than, things like your greater than. Those are some of the things we will use. But we will also use things like your end, um, but then in Python, we will write them like this. Right, we'll, we'll basically use words um, instead of um, uh, using the equivalent, which is used in most programming language, which looks like this. So this is an and, and this is an or. So these are basically the statements that we'll be using. The first one here will be saying this is um, equivalent to saying equals. Right, so this means that something is equal to something. So for example, if I am to say B or A is equal to B, right? So that would mean A is equal to B. Then from there, let's look into the second one. The second one will be this. This is not equals, right? So this is a not statement, not equals to something. And an example of how to implement this one we can say A is not equals to B, okay? And then we can go on to the other one. This will be our less than sign. Less than, and then the, the way to implement it will be to say A is less than B, right? You only write one of those. And obviously this will be greater Greater, greater. So this is greater than, right? And the specific sign for greater than is this. And as an example, we can say A is greater than B. Okay. And then we have um, our end of an or, which we will speak about later on. Okay. So let's go and try and implement this into our Python project. Okay, so as you can see, I do have a project here. Um, I can go create a new project. We'll call this project um, 
CG. Um, let's just say this is um, if else. Okay, it's creating a new environment for my project. So before you can even start with if else statement, you will need to be aware of variables um, and how they work. And just basic knowledge of um, Python. Ready. Let me just remove all of this uh, code and then start it afresh. So, as I've said, we'll be using um, the if and else. Let's quickly start with learning the if statement. Okay. So we'll go ahead. I'll put just this if statement. Okay, now let's go see how the if statement works. So let's say for example, you have a variable here, we're gonna call it A, and then A is equals to five, and then you have another variable, which is B, and B is equals to three. <coughs> now, you can make an if statement, which looks like this. If A is bigger than B, right? You must put this quotation there to notify that this is an ongoing statement. Then you can go and say, then print for me the following statement. You can say A is bigger than B. Right? So let's 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 navigate through our statement. A is five, B is three. Then we're going to check if the value of A, which is five, is indeed bigger than B. So it's going to replace this A with a five, B with a three, and then the result will be true. If the result is true, that means we're going to print A is bigger than B. Okay, let's put that into test. There we go. A is bigger than B. But let's swap the results around. Let's say this was 3 and this was 5. And then we run the same results. You can see that nothing will be shown here uh, in our results, right? That's because 3 is not bigger than 5. So we can easily say... Um, uh, uh, we can easily just compare the two numbers so we're doing comparison here and if the result is true that's when we get to see um, the statement of an if being shown there now we can quickly introduce an else here and say okay by the way um, we're done with the if so the else part of it will be else print B is bigger than A, right? So let's go see the new results. So as you can see, B is actually 5, 3, uh, A is actually 3. So what do you get? You get a statement that will work in the else. So if this first result was false, we only execute what? We execute the else part. But if it is true, like we did previously, Let's say this is 10. If it is true that A is bigger than B, we will get this message. A is bigger than B. Okay. So we can do, you know, most of the examples using these conditions that I've given you here, which is the equal sign. We can check if things are equal. 
we can check if things are not equals we can check if it's less we can check if it's greater so let's quickly work around all of them so this is for when we're checking the greater than sign let's check the less than sign and say what if what to compare if a is less than b right so here i can just say i can easily come and say a is Say we just copy the statement and remove this and say this is B is less than A. Okay, so I'm checking here if A is less than B. If it is, we'll print A is less than B. The other way will be the other uh, uh, side around. So B is less than A, as you see the condition here. But then if I increase B to be 15, you can see the message changes to say A is less than B. So it pinpoints where is the actual condition. So we've successfully done an example of both the less than and the greater than. Let's go check an example of equals to. So an example of equals to, as I've said, you put two equal signs, right? So here you are basically saying, here we can say, if a then I can just say a is um, equal to b, right? Then I can say a is not equal to b. Right. So here what I'm gonna check, we're checking if a is equals to b. So we must put two equal signs. If a is equals to b, um, we will say if this is true, A is equals to B. If it's false, A is not equals to B. Let's check. The first result will say A is not equals to B. But then if I change B to be 10 and I run this statement, A is equals to B. Okay. Let's check the last one now, which is the not equals to. Okay. So the not equals to, you just put a not here. This is basically a not equals to. So we'll say... If it's not, we'll say A is not equals to B. If that is not true, we'll say A is equal to B. Right? Kind of the same with the previous one. So if I run this currently, A is equals to B. But if I just change one of the values here and run the statement again, we'll find that A is not equals to B. Okay, but we can put more details. Let me say, for example, we introduce a new value here called C, which will say it's equals to 2. Now, what happens now is I want to say if A is greater than B, and let me just say, put this one as an end, and A is greater than C. Okay, so what happens here is you can put an end like this, right? So this will say if A is greater than B, which is, uh, let's put this as 1000 or a bigger number. So this will mean we're checking if ever A is bigger than all the numbers. And as you can see, A is indeed bigger than all the numbers. So I'll say here, I'll say A is bigger than B and C. Then the, the, the other condition will be A is not bigger than B because we will not know which one was actually not uh, uh, bigger too. We'll say than B or C. Right? So that we, cho we choose. So let's check the condition again. If A is greater than B, which is true, and A is greater than C, which is true, A is bigger than all the numbers. That's what we get when we execute this statement. A is bigger than all the numbers. Um, and then if one of the numbers can just be bigger than A, like we put 2000 there, we run this, we get a different message. You say A is not bigger than B or C. So that is when we're using um, the end, right? 
So remember, I did say that the end simply means that you can include more than one operation in a single statement. So let's check the or. The or offers us the same condition, just that now we just remove the end with an or. Okay, now, so the or here, yeah, that now the condition is going to change it because when we had an end before, when we had an end here, we were forced to have a being great being uh, uh, a was supposed to be greater than all the numbers so a was supposed to be greater than b and it was supposed to be greater than c but then because it's an or a just have to be greater than one of the numbers for us to get this message all right so we need to also just modify here because it's an or a just have to be bigger than one of these numbers for this statement to run right so if i execute this you will see the message says a is bigger than b or c one of the two but then let's say this one was bigger than it and we execute you can see a is not bigger than b or c right so that's the difference between the end of the or the or offers you an option to say a must just be greater than one of the two or the one of these statements that you have in between must be true the rest we don't care about them, right? But they still need to be executed. The end uh, says it's mandatory for both these statements to be true. If any of them can be false, will be redirected to the else. Okay. So that is the end of our session on if else statement using Python.